California, and this is the Live in 5 show. I'm Justin Jung. And I'm Eva De La Rosa. We're broadcasting live from our Live in 5 studio here on campus. Hey, Eva, where are you going to be for Halloween? Like my shirt says, I have nothing to wear. Coming up, coming up is a hero at his wedding. A skeleton is found in an unusual place. The skeleton war. We'll fill you in on where it was found. D'Angelo Russell is the new player of the Los Angeles Lakers. We have that story and a lot more on the, on the other side of the break. Stick around. It's unfair. It's a big misunderstanding. I just gave that dumb statue a little tap and... Next thing I know, I'm under attack in the superintendent's office. And a mix-up with some papers lands me in the gifted and talented Uncool School. Me, Donovan Curtis, king of the underachievers. In the Uncool School. Unreal. How am I going to remain under the radar among all these brainiacs? How long before they uncover the truth and realize that I am just ungifted? Get ready for some uncontrolled laughter as Donovan Curtis learns the greatest lesson of his life with the help of a school full of geeks and a robot named Tin Man. Ungifted. Look for it at your Scholastic Book Fair. Ladies and gentlemen, look at your friend. Hello, that's all my name is. Now back to me. Oh, Sadly, your friend is not me. But if he drinks studio store water, he may be just like me. Ahem! Oh, right. Oh, water. Right. Right, yeah. go, 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 go. Hey, is that good? That's good water. Tell me about it. Glad you guys like it. That'll be one dollar, please. Wait, what? One dollar? I thought it was free. I said the cups were free, but not the water. Ah, uh, fine. Thanks. Nice doing business with you. play-by-play. Want to keep up with all the events at Tesla? Well, now you're in luck. The Tesla social media crew has developed an all-new Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for Tesla. Follow us at Tesla CA to keep up with current events such as school dances, sports, interviews, field trips, crazy middle school outtakes, and of course, the Live and Five show. Find and follow us at Tesla CA. Did you get your 2016 yearbook ordered yet? If not, there's still time to get it for just $39. It's on sale for a limited time, then prices go up to $49. Blocking the sales price, see Mr. Porter in room 205 or order at teslofms.com. Congratulations to Teslof Trojan Marching Band and Color Guard on being invited to perform as part of Disneyland's Main Street Parade for the fall and winter season. The Trojan Band and Color Guard is honored to be selected for the third straight year to represent Teslof at Disneyland, a, priv a privilege us usually reserved for high school groups. Good wishes to all the members of the team. Here are your ASB announcements for this week. Congratulations to Miss Brewer's class for earning the most spirit counts. Miss Brewer's class will get to have Tommy the Trojan for the month. It, it was a close count for both Miss Anderson and Miss Pando's class. Don't forget to wear your test slot on Wednesday and, col and college apparel on Fridays. Stay tuned for Spirit Week coming at the end of the month. Homeroom classes get double the points on those days. The Garden Club will meet tomorrow in the garden at lunch. Hope to see you there. That's it for the play-by-play -play at Tetsaw. We'll be right back after this break. No sagging. Dress code. No sagging. Dress code. No sagging. Dress code. No sagging. Dress code. No code. Okay, you all ready? No. no. I am a short. Okay. But I don't like girls wearing short shorts. Mm -mm. And if you look like you ain't dress code. Oh. You already know I'm calling it rock code. If he see you with a bra strap, though, you already know that you get in dress code. You can't be bragging if you sagging, mm. cause you realize that you were lagging. Okay. And when you're in yep. your P.E. clothes, yep. just know you got dress code. Uh, if you weren't no P.E. shorts, okay. you gon' look like me. A dork. Oh. No sagging. Dress code. No sagging. Dress code. No sagging. Dress code. No sagging. Dress code. No sagging. 
Alright guys, last week to buy yearbooks. Yeah, I'm gonna buy yearbooks for forty nine dollars. It's still those great memories. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one this week before I sell out. You remember when we went on that field trip? Yeah, all the pictures are gonna be in the yearbook. You guys still talking about that yearbook? You're, You're not, not gonna, gonna buy, buy the, the yearbook? yearbook? No, I'm not buying that yearbook. The yearbook? Yeah, I'm gonna buy the yearbook. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Are you gonna buy it? The yearbook? Yeah, the yearbook. Everyone's talking about that yearbook. I'm not gonna buy that thing. Why is everyone staring at me? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any yearbook? Because everyone treated me like a freak because I didn't buy one. No, I sold out. You should have bought one when you had a chance. Oh man, I should have bought a yearbook. A mysterious human skeleton has revealed itself in the farmlands of Northern Ireland. A massive 215 year old beech tree found in a rural area around the Irish town of Colooney has attracted a lot of attention. Earlier this May, it got rooted up in a storm and the skeleton was uncovered. Archaeologists claim that the bones were from who lived about 1,000 years ago in the early medieval period. They discovered many details from, this, from his remains. He appears to be around 17 to 20 years old. He was encased in hardened dirt with giant roots growing around him. The lower legs remain, the lower legs remained, but the upper body was tangled in roots. Professionals say he was taller than the average person of his time and was involved in work from a young age. Thanks to researchers' re radiocarbon date, they found out that his death was before the, An the Angelo Norman invasion in 1169. A groom turns hero in a surprise situation following his wedding. At Cody Campbell's reception, a relative choked on her steak and everything went to chaos. Luckily, Cody Campbell jumped into action and saved the woman's life. This happened in Chobco Canyon, California. Cody Campbell is a firefighter who had been who had received training in life-saving. Some people thought it was staged because they were at the back and could not see much of what was happening. The victim was saved and Cody's new wife walks away with a bigger hero. Time to check in with David on today's entertainment report. Good morning, David. Nick does not do this alone. He works with his enemy, Judy, Judy Hopps. She is a cop, and on their adventure together, they start to get to know each other and become friends. Look for Zootopia on March 14th. Now time to check in with Victoria on today's weather report. Good morning, Victoria. There was a 2.7 earthquake this morning. Your pollen index today will be 4.5. As we move through the week, that will be 6.2 on Saturday. <clears throat> In New Mexico, there's, there's going to be a flash flood, which is, <laughs> which is the relationship between last night's premiere of the flash. Here in Los Angeles, we're going to be looking at some 80s today, and up in the north, they're going to be looking at some 70s. As we fly to Texas, they're going to have, a, they're going to have 91, 90s today, and in the east, they're going to have some 80s. Time for a five-day forecast. Today's high will be 83, and our low will be 65. As we move through the week, the high will be 94 on Friday. Don't forget to send us your birthday and your social pics. Direct message them to at testlofca on Instagram. Now time to check out the web poll with Jace. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Connor. Good morning, Jace. 
So Connor, do you feel confident with your classes? Like, how, how are you doing? Do you feel confident in them? I feel confident. I feel pretty well. Yeah, so do I during my classes. Will you please read this, this week's poll for us? Should Tetzloff include fast food in the lunch line? Here's what our viewers said. One student said no, because that would, be, that would mean the school would spend more money on lunch. And another student says, says yes, because we will have delicious food. To vote, visit us, to vote, vi visit us at liveandfiveshow.com to vote. We want to hear from you. We want to hear your opinions and put them on the air. Simply direct message us, direct message us on Instagram at TetzloffCA. So, Connor, what do you think? I think we should because it would give the school more money and we would have better kinds of food. Yeah, I would. I could get a good like big Big Mac from McDonald's and like the lunch line. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> now it's time to check in with sports with Dijon. Good morning, Dijon. I'm Dijon, and this is sports. And the game when the Seahawks beat beat the Lions. Yesterday, when the score was 10 to 13, the, the Seahawks totally beat the Lions. But some people say they should have won, but they didn't, so they gotta live with that. And some other people say they, they should have won if Russell Wilson wasn't on their team. But but that he's on there, so they should live with that too. And who 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 thinks the Broncos? Who who thinks they're gonna win on Sunday? The Broncos or the Raiders? Cause I'm not a Raiders fan, but I think they're gonna win. And you should keep in mind that the Raiders have three Super Bowl rings, and the Broncos only have two. New player D'Angelo Russell is get, R Russell is getting recruited to the Los Angeles Lakers. He currently plays both point guard and shooting guard. He officially joined the team in uh, uh, August 25. The reason they they should they should they choose him was because in college ball, he got 16 points, six assists, and four rebounds. Also, against Maryland, he got 14, 14 rebounds to win. That stands out the most, what that stands out the most was his triple, double 23 points, and 11 rebounds, and 11 assists. And thank you, thank you for listening to our sports report. I'm, De, I'm Dijon, and now time to check out to our daily 411. When is, when is the iPhone 7 expected to come out? November 2015, January 2016, September 2016, or March 2017? Take five. The, if, app, if Apple sticks this tradition, the iPhone 7 may come out on September 2016. Alec Davis is a 10-year-old boy who is suffering from a brain tumor and is a huge Golden State Warriors fan. Talek's one dream was to meet Stephen Curry, his favorite ba basketball player. To make this meet possible, the Warriors Foundation agreed with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to host Talek at the Splash Brothers camp where Curry would meet him. Before the start of the camp, Curry finished his workout and walked toward him. Talek became so excited that he started crying because his dream finally became true. Well, that's our show for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Baby, I can't live with